Hello, I'm John Forbes here for Joyrider TV, and you're watching Show Us Your Cat. Yes, that's right, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV, back with episode 133 of Show Us Your Cat. Now, if you didn't know, Show Us Your Cat is where we take a look around the world at your boats and where it is that you sail them. And I know I've said this before, but today you are in for an absolute treat. Something we have never seen before. Yes, this is a Hobie 18 special. If you would like to be featured in an upcoming episode of Show Us Your Cat, then yes, the global Joyrider TV community would love to see what it is that you go sailing on. So if you'd like to get involved, just check out the video description below. All of the details of what you need to do are there and we would like to see your cat in a future episode of Show Us Your Cat. If you didn't know, we have got going on a very exciting global speed competition. Yes, we have. It's a great opportunity for you to see and to show everybody else how fast you can go on your boat. It's called the Global Speed Stick. Again, all you need to do is look in the description below for what you need to do, but you just go out sailing with a GPS device, see how fast you can go, send me the details, you will get on the Global Speed Stick leaderboard. If you've been out sailing and you were lucky enough to have a camera rolling and something went wrong, maybe you capsized, maybe the mast came down, maybe something hilarious happened, there's another series on Joyrider TV called What Went Wrong. Again, we'd like to see your footage so that it can be analysed and put into a future episode. So let's jump in and take a look at what we're looking at in this week's Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. So we're heading to Tanilba Bay Sailing Club, located two and a half hours north of Sydney, Australia, on the picturesque Port Stephens where they've recently had the big boat regatta, which was a great opportunity to showcase the Hobie 18 Reimagined class. I'm on my Hobie 18 and you're on Joyrider TV. The Reimagined class is the brainchild of John Forbes, possibly one of the most experienced catamaran sailors on the planet. He sailed in three Olympic games in the Tornado catamaran Sailing first with Mitch Booth to a bronze medal and then with Darren Bundock getting the silver. He's competed in many world championships in the Tornado and NACRA catamarans, winning a total of seven world championships and four European championships. John now sails in the Hobie 18 reimagined class with his 21-year-old daughter, Bronte. I'm Ollie. I'm Caitlin. I'm Emma. And I'm Bronte. And we're all here at Tanilba Bay at the Big Cat Regatta. The aim with the class is to make the Hobie 18 more youth and female friendly while giving it a much more modern appearance. Key updates to the boat include to increase the main sheet purchase from the 7 to 1 which is class legal to 8 to 1 or 9 to 1 to make it easier for sheeting to chop the top of the dagger boards so it doesn't bruise the crew's thighs and get in the way. A one-piece trampoline to eliminate the lacing and gaps in the tramp looks a hundred times better with the gray mesh and the colored trimmings. All of the aluminum parts are being re-anodized in silver. This is because it looks better than the black and it doesn't get too hot to handle. And I think you'll agree these silver beams really do look the business. The boats are being supplied with EPO 2 or EPO 3 rudder blades. They're bringing back the fun looking coloured sails that Hobie was famous for. Each boat is getting a unique and relevant sail number. So people are actually choosing their own sail numbers so it's personal to them. The original mainsail battens are being reshaped and tapered to give a better profile with the center of effort further forwards 
promoting less healing, more boat speed and less work with the main sheet. They're moving the jib block from the gunnel track onto the trampoline. This stops the jib block from digging into your ass and ripping your wetsuits and your shins in light air and when tacking. All of the boats are having custom colour graphics which is linked to the sail design and colour coordinated ropes and rigging. The downhaul has been upgraded and the mast spanner has been moved down to the base of the mast, much like on a tornado, to allow easy trimming even while on the trapeze. I'm on my Hobie and you're on Joyrider TV. John's currently got 10 reimagined Hobie 18s and there are five others being sailed around Australia, but the fleet is gradually growing. The Hobie Cat Company have not built the Hobie 18 since 2003, so we're trying to find old boats and revive them and reimagine them to introduce youth and women into the sport who don't want to sail with a spinnaker or go foiling. I love sailing on the Hobie 18 Reimagined. It's a really great cast for women and youth. I think you'll agree that these Hobie 18s actually look better than new and they have been instrumental in getting many young sailors into the sport and out on the water. I'm on my Hobie and you're on Joyrider TV. He's starting to export some of the upgraded parts as well as the one-piece redhead trampolines for both Hobie 18 and Hobie 20 to the USA. G'day from Tanilba Bay. But let's head over to Mick Colcliffe, the Commodore of Tanilba Bay Sailing Club, to hear about what's been happening. I've been here for 35 years at the club. It's the best club around. We're on Port Stephens, which is a beautiful part of Australia with blue water. We have this big boat regatta every year. And the big boat regatta this year, we had 31 boats. They were all F-18s and A-classes and Taipans and F-16s and most of all, Hobie 18s, beautiful boat. And we welcome people all the time. The club, we have a few juniors. We have Bix for the juniors. Uh, we have a little tackers thing happening to get the kids involved. Uh, the waters here get a bit choppy when the tide's going out and the nor'easter comes in, but we always get that nor'easter in the afternoon. It's a fantastic breeze. We're on our Viper. And you're on Joyrider TV. John says it's what they call recreational racing. But as we get ready for this start, we can see there's not much recreational about it as John takes this start line apart with the precision of a surgeon. You can really see the skills on show there, out on the trapeze as nimble as an 18 year old. and then check the speed on these two A-classes coming past. It's hardly surprising they're going so quick. It just happens to be previous world champion Steve Bruin and current Australian national champion Adam Beatty. I think that really highlights the calibre of the sailors that they're getting at these events. So thanks very much to John and everybody else for getting involved, sending us those great pictures and videos of the Hobie 18s reimagined and the footage from this great event. If you want to see more action from John, check out his YouTube channel, it's called Gonzo. I'll put a link in the description below. There's a lot of great action there. And congratulations to the young F-18 team of Emily and James who took the first place at this event. It was their first win and they should be extremely pleased. So there we go. If you disagree and you think you've seen a nicer looking Hobie 18 or better still if you've got a nicer looking Hobie 18 then yes we would like to see it in an upcoming episode on Show Us Your Cat. So thanks very much for watching and I'll be back soon with some more on Joyrider TV.